In what could possibly be the all-time greatest clickbaity title of an article, this one absolutely takes the cake. DisneyDining.com has ratings. Can I say this word? Ism. Overseas response to the Little Mermaid. Now, there's been so much talk about this. You're an istophobe. That's an istophobe. All this... Um, Review bombing going one way or another all over the internet. But this one, this title right here wins all over. Let's see what they have to say. Fans and haters turned out to local movie theaters. You think people who hated this movie actually went and bought tickets to see this movie that did not have a YouTube channel? That did not actually make money to go watch this movie? Made a lot more with their reviews than they did paying for it. No, they didn't. To sit there and say haters turned out to local movie theaters. No, they didn't. Movie theaters this weekend to be some of the first to see Disney's live-action remake of the 1989 classic Little Mermaid. Social media has been hyping this movie and ridiculing its CGI incessantly. And the results are finally in. The Riddle Little Mermaid is a smash hit. Not really. Sort of. Maybe just barely, in North America at least. Pop Crave announced on Twitter this afternoon that director Rob Marshall's adaptation is currently the number one movie in the world, except that it kind of isn't. Referred to all over Twitter as a global phenomenon. How? This movie's going to fall off a cliff next week. The Little Mermaid starring, starring Halle Bailey as a red-headed mermaid. She doesn't, she's not redhead. That's not, that's more like a tan, bleach, whatever. Ah, red-headed mermaid Ariel is projected to make over $118 million on its debut weekend, which isn't really all that good. It's not as much as Disney wanted to make, for sure. The Hollywood Reporter notes that it is Disney's fifth biggest opening of all time, it should make another $60 million by Monday. Ooh, I wonder how it did. Overseas markets boycott the Black Mermaid. Really? It's always got to be about race. This is what I bring up. This is mostly what I talk about. It's got to be about the Black Mermaid. has nothing to do with the realization that it is, this is a soulless cash grab a nonsensical, unnecessary remake of a classic movie that no one is interested in seeing. With all the television spots and the trailers and everything, people could see from a mile away that the CGI was piss poor, so they waited for other people to go watch it and review it, and they saw others' opinions of it. This is not a global phenomenon. I'm sorry to break it to you. And, like I said, I don't think it's going to make its budget back. No, it'll make its budget back. It's not going to make much more than that. Huh. While the film has faced a ton of backlash from Bailey's casting, eh, whatever. To the CGI quality, that's mainly, yeah, now it's the story. The plot updates are trash. U.S. audiences have had an overwhelmingly positive reaction, only because Rotten Tomatoes is trying to hide the review scores. IGN is trying to hide their review scores as well. Positive reaction, my ass. To seeing the film in its entirety, the movie, however, has met with lopsided reaction from overseas markets because they can see your bullshit Western crap from a mile away. In fact, audiences in different markets are actively fighting against the success of the film simply by not going see it. They're fighting against it, my goodness. Movie rating sites responds to... <laughs> oh, okay. Deadline cited racially tinged commentary. Everything is racially tinged with these people. Absolutely everything. It's almost like Hollywood is casting minority characters in all these movies, on all these productions and TV shows and just to make sure that if they fail, they have an excuse. It's because of the bigots, the Yahtzees online, who just can't stand the changes in their characters. Maybe it's more along the lines of, you can't come up with a new story, something interesting, something well-written and well-performed. I think that's more along the lines of what it is. Give people something new instead of second-hand goodwill storytelling. And by goodwill, I mean the store, goodwill, where you get hand-me-downs 
from your brothers and sisters and clothes that nobody wants anymore. These are parts that nobody wants anymore. It's hand-me-downs. It's cast-offs. Recasting because they have no faith in their own ability to write. Make a new story. Give it a shot. You never know what you could find. There have been anti-black social media campaigns that they absolutely give no citing for, no link, no reference, none whatsoever. Just people discussing the merits and flaws of recasting Ariel, the Little Mermaid, as Halle Bailey. Sure, there was a lot of nonsensical discussions of mermaids can't be this, mermaids can't be that, but no. The main argument was that Ariel was a white redhead. What is the purpose of recasting? But I think that all faded away into the, into the darkness after the CGI came out, the TV spots came out, and it was one poor, poor performance after another. Hmm. Huh. In Germany, the film had a 0.7 out of 10 before it even released to theaters. Yes, people heard the songs. They saw the TV spots, they watched the trailers, and they weren't interested. Although, given a, TV, given a movie a rating before it comes out, that's yeah, not very fair. But, let's get into this lovely ratings terrorism movie. Rating site responds to ratings terrorism's deemed ratings terrorism by Korea's SBS News. Deadline explains that there was a trend of negative reviews, maybe because people didn't like the movie. There was a trend of positive review bombing as well receiving hundreds of likes and positive reviews, getting hundreds of thumbs down. Yes, there were also hundreds upon hundreds, if not thousands, of positive reviews that they, you know, naturally left up on the site, but the tens of thousands of negative reviews, oh, we, we can't let those go out there. Hmm. In reference to The Little Mermaid 2023, IMDb posted this warning. Our rating mechanism has detected unusual voting activity on this title, but only in the negative sense. They only pushed the negative sense. They only reviewed or uh, what's the word? Mm. I can't think of the word, so I'm going to move on. To preserve the reliability ha! of our... Sorry for that. Sorry about that. Couldn't help it. To, res to preserve the reliability of our rating system, an alternate weighting calculation has been applied. IMDb explains, although we accept and consider all votes, no you don't, you're a fucking liar because you're not weighting everything properly, received by viewers, not all votes have the same impact or weight on the final testing. Yes, the negative reviews did not have the same weight as all the positive reviews because obviously they left all the positive ones in. That's why Rotten Tomatoes has a 95% audience score when if you factor in all audience scores it's more closer to a 50 percent which honestly that's more likely that's more what the movie is i watched it i watched it with my mini me's my tiny clones and my child said after an hour and a half she didn't want to watch the movie anymore it was boring and nonsensical she didn't like it i made her watch it i forced my child to watch this movie to help me with my review I'm a terrible person. I'm a terrible parent. But yes, about a 50, maybe 5 out of 10, 6 out of 10 at best for this movie. Definitely not a 95%. Definitely not a 9 out of 10. And sure as hell not a 10 out of 10. This movie was dog snot. When unusual voting activity is detected, this is only this is the first time they've done this, an alternate weighting calculation may be applied in order to preserve the reliability of our system. By simply implementing that, you are destroying the reliability of your system. You're not allowing people to, vo to voice their opinion of the piece of work. So, your reliability goes out the window. IMDb, you're becoming nothing more than Rotten Tomatoes. Nothing but a shill media website that's filled with hot garbage. Hyper-focus on aerial ethnicity yeah, in the beginning, maybe. But after a while, it was ignored for the piss-poor acting, the changes in the story, the changes in the songs, the removal of actual songs, and the bad CGI. The least offensive part of the whole thing was the casting, outside of Eric, because he can't sing. But the live-action remake has been up for debate in the U.S. for years now, because of course it is, because all you filthy racists out there that gave it millions and millions of downvotes on the trailer, how could you? Oh! Oh, clutch my pearls, please! But audiences turned out 
The audience turnout showed internet trolls wouldn't get the best of the domestic release. I love how they're showing they're only talking about the domestic release. Other countries, however, seem to paint a different story. Huh. I guess the rest of the world is nothing but filthy racists. I believe they called Oh no, that was uh that was Netflix calling out China. But I just thought the title of this article was fun to talk about. Actually calling people who downvote this movie, who give it a negative review as ratings terrorism. It's a joke. Nothing more, nothing less. It's what IMD is becoming. It's what Rotten Tomatoes always has been. But let me know what you think in the comments. Do you like this article? Do you love it? I love the title. I really do. Let me know what you think in the comments. Leave a like. Leave a dislike. Have a good one. Where's my record?